your so-called Vice President Kamala Harris is pissed off. We tired of y'all messing with the alphabet soup people. What? This is gonna stop right now. I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by to see San Fe today. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. Kamala Harris, something, something just ain't right up there. That's just my opinion, okay? Something ain't functioning right. But then again, do you think she care what people think about her? Well, I'm the same way because I don't care what people think about me. But you know what, though? I'm not the vice president of the United States, okay? You're supposed to at least have a little dignity, a little common sense, some type of way, you know. But this lady here, and not only her, are defending the alphabet soup people. The alphabet people are so sensitive, y'all. Yeah, I said it. They sensitive. You can't say nothing about them. You can't talk about them. You cannot talk about the way they act, how they look, and what they doing. You can't do it because if you do, y'all, you going to be canceled. You going to be talked about. You going to be ridiculed. They don't care, y'all. They protecting the LGBTQ, XYZ people. They're going to protect them, but they're not going to protect you and what people do to you. They're not going to do it, y'all. Now, I'm going to read y'all what Kamala Harris is implementing and what the White House is going to do about it. Oh, yeah. They're going to start doing something about it. Y'all attacking these poor little... Alphabet soup people, y'all can't be attacking them. You know they attack you. Leave them alone. Leave them alone because see, we know. We know something ain't right up in here. We know it. But you know what? They don't know though. The politicians, the other people who are for all this mess, they don't know. Because they got something wrong up here too. They do. Now if this is your first time here, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And Click that thumb. That helps me out a whole lot, y'all. It does. Okay. And if you want to learn how to cook, go to cookingwithsandrafay.com. I got delicious recipes over there for you and your family. And also visit my Etsy shop. I make jewelry over there. I do. I make jewelry and other little things, too, coming soon. And I also got a new Etsy shop that's going to pop up on you just like that. Just like that. All right, moving right along. Now, <laughs> this was sent to me by someone I know and love. And I was like, oh, Lord. I can't believe this. I got to talk about this today. I got to talk about this. Right here on Twitter, on twi 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 Twitter, Kamala Harris is pissed off and mad. Some people tore her up down in the comment section. They did it. It says right here from Vice President Kamala Harris. See the little blue check? She paying for that blue check. She paying for that. Because Elon Musk said, if you want a blue check, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> it's his platform. He can do what he wants. It says right here, though. Across our nation, we are seeing attacks. Attacks on the LGBTQ plus communities we will not let this stand this is at POTUS and I will always fight to protect the rights and safety of all people attacks we ain't gonna let this stand Y'all can't be attacking these people. They ain't doing nothing in y'all. They just living their life. They want to be who they want to be. And y'all need to leave them alone. But what about 
when they mess with us, though. What about that? And I will always fight. She's going to always fight for them and try to protect their rights. But she's not going to protect your rights as a U.S. citizen. She's not going to do that. Oh, no. No, we ain't going to protect you, okay? We ain't going to protect you. Why she ain't going to protect us? Because we know she knows that we are sane people, okay? And she knows these people got to have something wrong with them up here, okay? That's just my opinion. Let me say this, allegedly. Do you hear me, YouTube? This is allegedly. I don't know if something wrong with these people, but to me, my Bible said that this is wrong. And if you think this is right, then something just might be wrong with you, okay? And she says she's going to fight to protect the rights and safety of all people. What all people? What are all people you going to protect? Are you going to protect those people at the border? The women and the children who are being molested and raped and <sighs> trafficking. Are you going to protect them? You're the border czar. And you won't even take yourself down there. You know what's happening at the border. Okay. But you want to protect the LGBTQ community. But you don't want to check. You don't want to protect those people at the border. The women and what's going on. You don't want to protect them. And you don't want to protect the veterans. What about them laying on the streets homeless? What about them? You don't want to protect them? And what about other people that's homeless on the streets? What about that? Huh? What about people, the elderly? You don't want to protect them? Don't talk about them. Don't attack them. Okay, we're going to put a stop to this. We got to help these elderly people because they're living on a limited budget. You don't want to help them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They living in their own place. They got their own money. Even though they suffering. Even though they struggling. Okay, they okay. Well, you know what though? The gay community, they are okay too, y'all. They okay. I mean, a comedian can't even talk about them anymore. Remember back in the day, Richard Pryor? How bad he talked about the gay people? Now they too sensitive. You can't do that. They sensitive, y'all. It's something about them. Even real women ain't that sensitive. They're not. I mean, they trying to be women. The trans women, they want to be women. They're not that sensitive. And the trans men, they sensitive too. Men ain't that sensitive. Not a real man. If he's trying to be a man, they not sensitive. But you sensitive. You can't take nothing that people talk about you. Well, it was wrong back then, too, but they didn't do nothing about it. They didn't. But you can't stop people from their opinions, though, okay? Whether you like it or not, okay? I may not agree with the lifestyle, okay? I may not agree with what you do. I may not agree with your sexual preference, you know? But that don't make me a bad person because I don't agree with you. That doesn't make me bad. Move right along, huh? This is what she wants to implement right here, y'all. This is what she want to do. New action to protect the LGBTQI communities. Why they got to have all that darn names? Why they got to have all that? And you notice they said plus because there's more coming soon. Under the Biden-Harris administration, we're going to strengthen, we're going to strengthen the physical safety. And we're going to be dedicated. We're going to dedicate resources to protect pride celebrations community centers, small businesses, and more. They're going to protect the pride celebration. Talking about those parades, okay, y'all. Okay, so they're going to make each state have pride parades. They can't ban them from their state, their city. That's what they're trying to say. They can't stop them. You can't stop the kids from coming. They should be able to come and see it, especially if they... Especially with they alphabet suit people too. You can't stop the kids, the underage kids. You can't stop them. Community centers and small businesses. They got small business. Nobody stop, you know, that. Who stops the small businesses by the alphabet suit people? Who stops it? I want to know. Tell me down in the comment section. I want to know. And more. And more to come, y'all. Addressing civil rights violations. 
new con- coordination to protect the LGBTQ plus students from the book bans. We want the books in the school. You can't stop these people from learning about who they are and what they want to be. You can't stop it, okay? We want to teach all students that this is okay, okay? Even though the Bible says not, we want to teach the kids that it's okay to be who you are, okay? It's okay to love everybody, everybody. Just love and lick them and stick them. It's okay who you want to lick and stick, even though they are the same sex. It's okay. Strengthening mental health and other support resources. New steps to help families support their kids. Protect the LGBTQI plus kids in foster care. And address the LGBTQI plus youth homelessness. So they want to help them with the homelessness. They want to protect them, but they don't want to protect the veterans, like I said. And like I said, they don't want to protect the people at the border, you know, the women and the children that's coming over here. They don't want to protect them. And they don't even want to protect you either. The people who live here in the United States of America, they don't want to protect you. But they want to protect the LGBTQ plus people. Oh, Lord have mercy. They want to support the kids. And their endeavor. We want to support them. We want to support them who they want to be. We don't care about the parents. We don't care what the parents think, okay? We're going to rule this. We don't care what y'all think, okay? If your kids want to change their gender, then so be it. We're going to help them. And you just might get thrown in jail. You just might. Now, people didn't like that. They was offended by all of this. They did not like it. They were like, oh, no. No, this cannot be. We do not like this. Someone here on Twitter, up on the Kamala Harris comment and stuff, Casey, he said, You aren't fighting to protect legal citizens. For over two plus years since you've been in office, with an open and non-secure border, you have allowed millions of criminals to walk in, cartels to establish their child's trafficking. Fentanyl to flood our communities and take American resources. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. The border is not secure, but they don't care. They allow women to be traded. They did this on purpose, y'all. That's done on purpose, okay? Can't you tell? Can't you tell it's done on purpose, y'all? If you can't see this was done on purpose because they're not stopping it, they catching them. They let them come in, catch and release. That's what they call it. They doing that for a reason. Dana Justice, America First, said, Dems thrive on crisis. There weren't any, so they created one. There weren't any, so they created one with their LGBTQQTIBGFTFF crap. That's all. This is, y'all, more red herring to deflate from their criminal activity. So true about that. I agree with that. And what's next down here said, all people, all people. She protects all people, really? But not white, straight Christians, men and real women? Our military, our borders, our way of life, the unborn, the elderly, protect all people? When you look at what's going on, that's what she's doing, protecting all people. (laughs) People ain't blind, y'all. They can see. They can see what's going on. From from right here, Paul Revere of this generation said, Shoving this unnatural act down our children's throat is the final straw. We will no longer tolerate this in our schools, work life, or in our nation. The hatred of straight lives ends today. Live. I'm sorry. The hatred of straight lives ends today. We ain't going to take this no more. He is tired. 
We are tired of this. We will no longer tolerate this in our school and what's done to our children. We ain't going to tolerate it. Tired. We ain't going to do it no more. I don't know. Something just might happen. We never know, y'all. Sooner or later, something going to be off the chain. Y'all know it is. It's coming. Chris Noblet said, keep your perverted hands off our children. That is perverted, y'all. I think it's perverted. Anytime you for all this mess and you trying to protect the kids, okay, not, pre well, they say they want to protect the, you know, the kids who want to change their gender, okay? You want to protect them. They want the kids to be able to do what they want to do because they know who they are deep inside. They know how they feel. They know how they feel down there. They know how they feel in their head. If a boy wants to be a little girl, let him be that. We're going to protect them no matter what. Forget the parent. Forget them. Somebody just says, stop. Just stop lying. You ain't protecting nobody. You ain't protecting nobody. You can't even protect the people of the United States with what's going on right now in this country because y'all created it. <sighs> y'all, this is crazy. <clears throat> I know this pissed some of y'all off because I'm telling you, it pissed me off. This woman is crazy. I don't understand why this is going on and why they letting this go on. I don't understand. <clears throat> but like I said, sooner or later, a change should come. A change is going to come. It's going to come. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Okay. I know y'all don't like this. I know you can't do nothing about it right now because I feel like, you know, Congress is not doing their duty. Because I feel like, like I keep saying, some of those people in Congress... Some of those people that we elected into office, they for this mess. They lied to y'all. Some of them did. They lied, okay? Because some of them probably too undercover brothers and sisters. Undercover. You know what I'm talking about when I say undercover. They lied to y'all. They lied. There's more. There's a lot of them. It is. You just don't know it because they're covering it up. All right? They like this stuff. They like doing the stuff to little children. A lot of them do. They do. Hollywood, too. Hollywood been doing it for a long time, y'all. They have. <clears throat> okay, y'all. With all that said, go down there and tell me what you think. And make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do that for me, please. And watch the next video coming up. Thank you. Yeah.